Your first step is to inspect and test the filter creating a benchmark prior to the cleaning process. This includes a back pressure test, light inspection, and pen test to help identify potential issues inside the filter structure. Next we place a contaminated filter inside our soak tank with the inlet side facing up. The pre-soak process cleans the face of the filter and begins to loosen the soot and ash captured inside the cell structure. After pre-soaking for at least 10 minutes, we then place a filter with the outlet side facing you in the holding area. Moving the flush gun around the face of the filter, you will begin to see soot and ash exiting the filter on the inlet side. The soak tank uses treated water and surfactant during the cleaning process and for us has proven to be a more effective option than air. Now it's time to place the filter inside the wash cabinet to perform a clean soak. Notice that the filter is resting on a rubber mat that creates a seal with the filter flange. We then add fresh surfactant to the face of the filter and use the flush gun to fill the substrate with clean, treated water. This process can be done while another filter is going through the computer-guided cleaning process inside the cabinet. After the clean soak process is completed, we move the filter in position to be thoroughly cleaned by our computer-guided program. Our patented XY system with crosshairs makes filter placement quick and easy. Centering the filter ensures the side wall will be clean, which is typically the most contaminated portion of the filter. Once the filter is in place, it's time to start the computer-guided aqueous cleaning process. Simply close the doors, select the filter diameter, and press start. Our low pressure, high volume stream consists of treated water and proprietary surfactant that will flow roughly 600 gallons of water through the filter during the cleaning process. Our low pressure, high volume system allows the water to maneuver around corners in the cell wall structure unlike air. At this time, if you haven't already done so, you will want to start the warm up cycle on the drying cabinet. This is done prior to the initial use at the beginning of the day. Every filter runs a total of two complete cycles, with each cycle consisting of two phases. The first phase is a fast clean, while the second is a slow clean, all computer guided. After the fast clean is complete, the alarm sounds and the yellow light flashes notifying the user. Simply press start and the slow cleaning phase will begin. When the first cycle is completed, the alarm will sound and the green light will illuminate, signifying completion. Again, press the start button and the second cycle will begin. After both cycles are complete, you can use the flush gun located inside the machine to clean and inspect the filter. Prior to removing the filter from the cabinet, blow out excess water and inspect the filter surfaces. Now it's time to place the clean filter inlet side up inside the drying cabinet. Using the manual crank, you will want to adjust the platform and create a tight seal on the inlet side. Pressing the start button, you will notice a timer as well as a temperature reading for the inlet and outlet sides of the filter. Temperatures will continue to rise with the inlet target temperature being 215 degrees Fahrenheit and the outlet target temperature being 175 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the outlet temperature reaches 175, the machine will automatically turn off. Now it's time to test the clean filter and compare the numbers to the benchmark numbers taken prior to the cleaning process. You will then want to perform final preparation of the filter, which includes removing old gasket material and cleaning the canister of the filter.